ancestral spirits are spirits of our ancestors that are diligent or <coughs> loyal to an ancestral covenant. Should I come again? Ancestral spirits are spirits of our ancestors that are loyal to an ancestral power or covenant. That is why you see yourself, you pass through a pattern, you pour libation. This night is going to be powerful. When I am done with you guys this night, you will no longer be pouring libation stupidly, but you'll be pouring libation with knowledge. Because one of the things that was so paramount and synonymous with our ancestors was the ability for them to acquire the deep secrets, the knowledge of spirituality. Now, like I said, ancestral powers are covenants that are laid down by a particular ancestor for the descendants ahead. While the ancestral spirits are the loyal ancestors to that particular ancestral power or covenant. Now, today's class will be how does ancestral powers and spirits affect our lives? Some of you are here. There is a, an occurrence in your family every five years, every 10 years, every 20 years. Some of you are here. You will have to get to a particular age before you marry. Some of you are here. You are from a family that there is no single rich person. The richest person, the most richest person, cannot even travel abroad. Some of you are watching me right now. Your whole family member that is even abroad is not even feeding well. There are people who are watching me now. You are the most successful person in the whole of your lineage. When I use the word lineage, I mean your father's children, your father's brother's children, your father's sister's children, the whole of you. In fact, you are living in Shangote Edo or Ibeduleki. You are living, you are living in Cable Point. You are living in Vite. You are living in one place inside the Lagos that even my SUV cannot even get there. Now can I run? But guess what? Any time where you visit home is as if a rich man has come. Because now only you stay for Lagos. Now you be the brother, brother. So every time you go home and you come back to Lagos, hunger starts beating you. Every time you go home and you come back to Abuja, there's no money again. You cannot tell them that there is nothing because you are the richest person. Some of you are watching me today. You, are, you work in five, five offices, but for the past 10 years, one million naira cash has never landed your account and stay there for one month. Impossible. Let me tell you something. There is nothing that happens in a man's life without an input of your ancestral powers or spirits. So you ask me, the smart internet people will say, I bet in the Nigerian economy, I bet in Nigeria you are too spiritual. The question here is this, was it not the same Nigerian economy that people are buying me back? Is it not the same Nigerian economy that people are cashing out? You ask yourself, why is it you are living in a compound, somebody you have one car, two cars, you don't have. Why is it that you are living in a compound, Somebody has just gotten married from the company and left you to the husband's house. You are still there. Why is it that some people are up and some are down? But the Bible will deceive you. There will always be poor among you. Like I tell a lot of my water members, the Bible said there will always be poor among what? You. But the question from who's the to you? Must you, must you be the fulfillment of that statement? Must you be the poor one among all men?